we're gonna give you the next installment of hot summer nights but this time we're going on the road so we're gonna go to a few customers houses we're gonna take some videos Carl's gonna talk to the owners about their pride and passion and um, so we're gonna we're gonna bring it to you live well this this is really pretty exciting and uh, I've got my wife with me here and we're kind of considering this is a uh, a little bit of a family cruise we got our granddaughter here with us and we're going to uh, do a little cruise of our own before we actually uh, see some of the cars but Steve Leeper where we're going to first has a uh, very unusual collection of uh, of Corvettes I think he's got five of them so we're, we're just hitting the highway here and uh, as Carl said you know we're going directly to the customers house this time so Let's talk a little bit on the way, Carl. So what car are we driving today? Well, you know, this is not a uh, politically correct hot rod, <laughs> but it's a, uh, a hot rod uh, that was so cool in the days that I was growing up. It's a 1947 Mercury convertible. And uh, as you can see right in this car, it's just so nice and such a comfortable ride. And what a beautiful day for a convertible ride. I mean, this car rides like we're riding in a brand new Chevrolet almost. Well, not quite that good, but <laughs> it's, you know, the best that Mercury could offer. Yeah. We're just getting ready to drive into Steve's driveway here. And uh... <laughs> now we're pulling up here and uh, there's Steve right there in there front of us. us. So anyway, let's get out and see what Steve's got to show us and what he's got to say. Five Corvettes. So anyway, Steve, tell us a little bit about what you have here. Maybe if we could do this kind of like one at a time and why you did what you did when you started doing what you're doing, please. It, uh, well, it all began, I've, the 90 Corvette that I have, it's up at your shop, they're working on it. And uh, I traded it for this one in 2000, this is 2001. And then I uh, found it, the 90, about seven years later, and I bought it back. And then I, your buddy down to Smithville, I'm sure he's passed on now. Yeah. I bought the one that's in the trailer there, the 63 Roadster. I bought that from him because I was collecting these Model cars, you know, dealer promos, yeah, they call yeah. them. And I was paying $1,000 a piece for those dealer promos back in the 60s. And my brother said, you just will collect the real thing. <laughs> so then I come across this one. And so then I was up to four. Then I got money burning a hole in my pocket. And I found that one there. That's an 08. And I found it. Uh, when I bought the thing, I looked it over, it was kind of what I wanted, but I wanted a cashmere interior. So I found this had red interior. So I went up to your shop and I said, I know you've worked on these C6s. Can you change the carpet color? Not a problem. So they changed the carpet color, put a red carpet in it and the hush mat and the trunk and the doors and stuff. And so that's how I got that one. And then here about two years ago, I was looking for a C7 because I could buy a C7 cheaper than I could buy a C1. And I, I wanted cashmere interior or, you know, oak or whatever they call it with the dark red with the oak top. Found that one on eBay. Had 800 miles on it. And I said, just what I wanted. It was in Chicago, car collector out there. And I emailed the guy and told him, I said, that's exactly what I want. And I said, why are you uh, selling it? And he says, oh, he says, I bought a new Porsche, four wheel drive, four wheel steer, twin turbo. He said, I like driving it better. And he had 20 cars. So uh, I bought it off eBay. I waited till there was four seconds left. I punched in my number and I hit now, you know, and the computer went blank. Uh, well, wasn't meant to be. Pretty quick, it came back to life, says, congratulations, you're the winner. 
So I called my buddy up and I says, I don't know what I just done. Buying a new car or buying a car off of eBay. And the guy, he had, his showroom was fancier than my house ever thought of being, where he kept his cars. And he says, well, we'll take you in here and show you the car. So he goes in there and he says, here, she, here it is. So I walked around it. He reached in his pocket and got out his white hanky to open the door. Same way with the trunk lid and the hood. Same way to close them. And my buddy says, I think he's pickier than you are. <laughs> but I, it was better than showroom condition. His hands, after he had got on the transport, was the only ones that had been on the car other than to change oil at 500 miles. Sounds to me like Steve loves the uh, color with the uh, cashmere interior. I think that's mm -hmm. got a warm spot in your heart, which yeah. is a, a, a nice combination. Huh. Wow. This is the one I got off your... Glenn your Finch. Yeah. Glenn, yeah. Your son took me down there to get this. That would have been Braddy. Brad, my... When he had that used car while yep. he was 14. And, uh... Well, down there and... I remember that car. In fact, I sold it to Glenn. <laughs> so, Steve, tell me about your pickup truck. Geez, everything you got is, like, brand new. Geez, that's a... Is that a 89, 96. 96? No, I bought that about five years ago. Guy down in Winterset that owned the 66 station bought it brand new. Really? And he drove back and forth to the station. And he died and his wife had no need for it. So that's how I come about it. And it had 75,000 miles on it at that time. That was seven years ago. But when we got it, these extra chrome pieces yeah. had a lot of door dings in. And my brother said, we gotta change that. I said, when you take them off, there's going to be rust behind them. It's just invariable. He took them off and replaced them. There wasn't a speck of rust behind them. It just totally amazes me. I barely made it through high school. I don't have a college education. But I knew how to work, and I knew how to save money. So that's how I ended up getting what I've got today. Just save a little and spend a little. <laughs>